We'll guide you through how to record gameplay on your PS5. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. The first thing we need to do is head to our settings. So go to the top left and then over to the right to settings. And then here you want to scroll down until you go and see captures and broadcasts at the bottom and click into it. And then what you want to do is firstly go to shortcuts for create button. So the create button on your controller is this button here in the top left. Um, and so what we can do is do some basic mapping here. So at the moment it's set to standard. I prefer to have easy video clips and it then tells us we just need to press twice uh, to start or finish a recording of a new video clip. Next, you can go and choose the length. I like to go and set this to an hour because you can always end it earlier. It doesn't have to be an hour long. It just gives you a bit more flexibility. Then let's go back and then we can go into video clip format and you want to make this MP4. It's easiest for editing and things like that. And then you can choose if you want to include your mic's audio, which I do, so click this, toggle it on. And you can choose if you want to include the party audio as well. So I'll toggle that on as well. And then also upload is quite useful. So this means it will automatically upload it to the PlayStation app. What's important to note is that videos are only going to upload if they're less than three minutes. If they're longer than three minutes, we'll have to transfer it using USB. I'll show you how you can do that later on though. So they're the settings. Now what you want to do is go back and to start screen recording, you need to be in a game. So I'll open up Fortnite. I'm now in the game, so let's start recording. So to go and start recording, I can go and double tap on the create button as we set that shortcut up, or you can just go and open up the menu by long holding. You can click over to start new recording, and you can also change settings on the far right under capture options, but we should have gone and configured this all before, but you can always go and quickly change it here as well. So let's go and start this by pressing start new recording or double tapping on the create button. And as you can see at the top, we can go and see a timer. So now we're going and recording and you can go and record what you want, say what you want and do whatever. And when you're ready, we can stop it. So I can double click on the create button and it will then stop. You'll see that little sort of pop up in the top right that shows it's saved. Or you can go and open up this menu here and you can go and stop the recording as well. Now that you've recorded, we now need to transfer it to your phone or computer. So to do that, let's just go back to our home and then you want to go and open up the media gallery. So you may need to go over to the game library to find it and then you can open media gallery up, press open and then you can go and see all your recordings here. So as I said, if a video is less than three minutes, it's gonna be on the PlayStation app, which is the easiest way to go and sort of move it onto your phone to edit and upload. There are more options than just using the app. You can come onto your remote and just go and press on the options button in the right hand side. And then you've got all these options. So as I said, you can upload to the PlayStation app It's less than three minutes, or you can copy it to a USB drive. So you have to plug a drive in or you can go and edit in the Share Factory Studio. Or as I just said, you can go and transfer it to USB and then you can put it on a computer or your phone and you can upload it or edit it and do whatever you want with it. If you found this useful, please leave a like.